Welcome back to my channel and to another bullet journal video. So this is going to be my setup for April. I know I'm a little bit late in putting this up, but I still thought I'd put it up in case you were looking for some inspo for next month, or if you just like watching bullet journal videos, because even before I had a bullet journal myself, I still used to really love watching videos on people doing their bullet journals. I don't know why, it was just... I don't know, calming to me. So this week I've gone with the classic Easter egg theme as obviously it was Easter in April, but I've also made sure I'm doing a colourful theme for this month. So every page will be really colourful with lots of bright colours. So at the top here I made some hanging Easter eggs and I wanted to paint them so they looked like hand painted eggs, like when you were younger and you used to blow out the middle of eggs and then paint the shells yourself. So that's why I created my own colours just by mixing them and then made them all kind of mottled and different textures. I then took my Tombow brush pen and just wrote the word hello which finished my April title page. So on the next page I wanted to create my monthly calendar for April and I always find these super helpful which is why I like to leave a double page spread for it rather than have a really small one on a single page I just like the look of them on a double page and I still wanted to keep it really colourful like I said for this month it's all colourful so I just filled in the kind of spacing that I'm going to be writing the dates and filled them in in different colours I also ombre this so it's really strong on one side and it kind of faded out to a lighter colour and then on a separate piece of sticky paper I just decided to make some little paint swatches and paint droplets which I will use later on in my bullet journal. So if you are worried about using paints into your bullet journal, then you can still use paints and just do it onto a separate piece of sticker paper and then cut them out and stick them in your bullet journal. That way you haven't got to worry about them leaking through the pages. So I just wrote the days of the week on the paint swatches and cut them out and stuck them along the top. I took a thick black pen and just went over my lines and then wrote all of the dates in. At the bottom on the left I wanted to draw something in that space as I knew I wasn't going to be having any trackers or anything so I decided to draw some Easter eggs and I just drew a few little like gathered I was going to say a bunch of Easter eggs can you get a bunch of Easter eggs I made them all different patterns and I left these ones black and white as there was going to be a lot of color in the actual calendar so I thought these black and white Easter eggs would look really nice down at the bottom On the other side I wanted to put down my trackers, I usually have two trackers that are on my calendar page, one is for like my goals that I'm setting myself through the months and the other one is for my Etsy releases. So I decided to cut out these paint swatches and then trim them up into little tiny squares which would then make my check boxes. I then took the off cuts of the days of the week at the top and I just stuck them down onto a ruler and sliced it down. This way it gave me a complete straight edge and then I just stuck this around the bottom of my calendar. So I was planning to do lots of these all around and it would look really cool but it was about here that the school phoned and I had to go and pick my daughter up from school early. So the next kind of few shots are of quite a few days later so it's a bit of a different setup as well but I'm just going to carry on so for the next page I wanted to do my habit tracker and I wanted to change things up a little bit because I've been doing the same habit tracker for the last well few months so I decided to do single trackers for each habit I started off by drawing a bunch of Easter eggs and then shading them in in different colours and I left the colours quite pastel so that way I could write over them easily. The way that I kept them really pastel is obviously I dipped it into the paint and then into the water and blotched it off onto some tissue paper and then I just wrote down what I wanted to track and I wrote the numbers from 1 to 30. To begin with I was trying to make it so there was 30 squares in each Easter egg and then I quickly realised it doesn't actually matter how many squares are in there as long as it's just got the numbers because the numbers is what I was just going to be crossing off. 
If you want to have all of your egg shapes exactly the same, you could always use something that is egg shaped to draw around. On the next page, I wanted to write a quote, so I just took an extra large brush and painted on a few pastel paint swatches in different colours just to make it a little bit more colourful and then while I was waiting for that to dry I drew some little grass at the bottom of each egg onto my habit tracker which I was planning to go back and outline in black and make them more leaf like looking um, but I just didn't get around to it and then once it had finished I just took my Tombow brush pen and wrote the quote. The blades of grass under each egg would have looked so much better with a nice black outline and I could have added some nice detail in there but the reason that that didn't happen was because it was about half one in the morning when I was filming this and I was so determined to get this up on time so it went out on the 1st of April which is pretty laughable because it's now the 10th of April and it's only now going up. For the next page I wanted to do my mood tracker and I took one of these die cuts that are available in my shop and I just trimmed out the little poppet and I normally leave this bit out of the videos but I thought I would just show you like my sketching process if you like. Normally when I'm filming my videos I'll go through my bullet journal and kind of plan out what I'm going to be doing or have a rough plan and then you guys see me draw in pen but before that I have drawn in pencil most of the time. So for my mood tracker I wanted to draw an umbrella that the little poppet was going to be holding. Originally I was going to make this umbrella like what you would get in a cocktail drink so it would be really colourful and made of straw and paper. But then halfway through I changed my mind and decided to make this just a normal black umbrella even though it looks a bit like a paper one now but that's okay we're just going to look over that. Because all of the um, raindrops I decided was going to be really colourful. I took the little rain cloud that's normally above him on the die cut and just wrote down mood and then I drew 30 little droplets, obviously one for each day and then I will draw my key and each colour will represent a feeling that I'm having on that particular day. I've been really loving mood trackers, I don't see that I'm not going to track my mood in my bullet journal anytime soon, I just find them really useful and it's nice to look back and see how I was feeling on a certain day or how many days I was having a really good productive day. So I just took some print steak, which is what I stuck the poppet in with, and put my mood little title at the top, and then write down my key under the umbrella. For the next page, I wanted to keep track of all of the shows that I'm watching on Netflix. So I just wrote down and passed me the remote, and I drew a bunch of TVs stacked up on top of each other. This is definitely not my idea, it was a picture that I saw on Pinterest a while ago actually and I just saved it because I thought it was a really good idea. They actually tracked what season they were on and what episode they were up to but you can see that I'm watching quite a lot of shows at the moment so I just decided to track which season I was on. So I went through and added little paint swatches as to how many seasons were into the series that I was then watching and then I just went ahead and labelled them all. Like I said, I definitely did not have the room to write down each episode, but you could totally do that if you're only watching one or two things or you could do a double page spread and that way you can track what episode you're up to as to what season. And then at the top here I just drew a little remote. Which really I should have drawn a PlayStation remote because I watch Netflix through my PlayStation. Once I finished writing down how many series there were, I went through and crossed off each complete series that I had finished watching. I've also recently finished watching Vampire Diaries and I'm so sad because I really miss it. For this page I wanted to do a big spread that was dedicated to spring cleaning. If there's something that you guys need to know about me, it's that I love cleaning and organising something it just makes my day and I'm super happy. A lot of these spring cleaning things that I actually do on a regular basis but I just wanted to incorporate something and I thought it was a fun challenge to take part in. So then every day you're doing a different thing and throughout the whole of April you would have decluttered and had a deep spring clean throughout your entire house. I wanted to make this obviously really colourful to match in with my theme so I just done a little drop shadow in different colours. You 
You don't have to label this spring clean and you can do it in any single month. You don't have to do it in April. You just label it from one to however many days are in that month that you want to do it. Every single day you write down something different that you are going to be going through and decluttering or deep cleaning. And then by the end of the month, your house is sparkling clean and stress and clutter free. So lastly, I was just going to draw out my weekly spreads and I only done one week's worth of spreads because I was super tired and I just could not keep my eyes open anymore. So I just took my hobby card, but you can use any kind of credit card or store card that you have and draw around it to give you that perfect shape that's going to all be the same. And then I labeled these with some paint swatches. So obviously it was colorful that went with my theme. And this way I'm just going to keep that as my little diary entry. So that was it for my April bullet journal video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm so sorry it was late. If you did like it, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. I would love to hear your comments down below. I hope you're all having a really lovely week and I will see you on Thursday. Bye guys.